What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to play some Judgment. So I've just, past few days, I've been just playing all the time, just trying to get more gold for the Rebellion hit on Tuesday. And I have, I think, about 135,000 right now, or 130,000, something like that. Because I'm combining, I need to combine my gold from both of my accounts and my main account when it hits so I can buy a bunch of packs on there. Yeah, my main account is still number one. I have like 70 something thousand. So yeah. Let's build a deck. And this will probably be my last judgment run before um, Rebellion hits. So it means there's new rewards for Rebellion. Like for winning 5 it's not 2000, it's only 1600. But for winning 3 it's not 500. It's now 800, so they changed a lot. They also lowered the price for getting in, which is cool. So um, let's see if we can go five for five in our last chance. To go five for five and get 2,000. Um, we got some okay cards here, but not much things that connect with each other. There's a bombard and a charge coil. These two right here. That's nice. And Cabrado's best energy card. Well, only energy card up here. But it's just not that good, so I think I have to take the good card, which is the curse monger, just in case we get decay. Another curse monger, that's cool. Here I could take an eclipse. I could take the bombard. Here I think I will take the bombard because that'll be awesome if I get a ranged deck going. And also curse monger is ranged. Now down here is Ducal guy, so maybe I should have taken the Ducal infantryman, but no regrets. <laughs> um, charge coil here, and now I see more order here, but there's also a Fury here. I'll take the Curse Monger. Necrogun is cool. So is Spark. So is Focus. Here it's a tough choice. I could go Ducal, Ducal, and Focus. That would be reliable. Hmm. I do have two curse mongers though, and there's a necrogut in here, so I think that's a better route to take. So I think I'll just take the frost scale, just that's a nice flash to go into in case we want to go that route. And now, not such great stuff down here. And now I think a blessing of haste because you can splash that pretty much anywhere. Uh, now the necrogut in. Maybe I should take the Eclipse of Four because then I could Eclipse Necrogeddon with another deck. And now it's interesting. We go to six decay at the moment. Um, I don't even though we have a Frost Scale, I see more energy down here, so I'm not really feeling we're going into growth. And Obelis just sucks. So I'll just take a Drew Bell run anyway, even though I'm probably not going to play it. Concentrate Fire is pretty cool. We don't have any big energy creatures yet. I'll just go ahead and take the Gravelock Raider. Brain Lice is cool. Especially with Curse Mongers. I'll take another Gravelock Raider. And now... A... Focus, maybe? Or concentrate fire? And I'll go with the focus. Okay, now we got some nice stuff. We have Brain Lice and a Trisman here, and a Meyer Shambler, maybe. So, Brain Lice, yeah, and Ripper's cool too. Meyer Shambler, Tribesman, Ripper. And now we have no more decay. Okay. No to can any of these rows. Um, so in order we have, let's see if haste and a focus. Easily fashionable. We could go for the kabonk. And this gives decay actually, so I think I, I'm gonna go with this. Vigor extraction. Soul steel is awesome. Uh, charge coil because we're pretty far into energy. 
Even though we have the Vigor Shift, I think we're still more in energy. Gun Auto. Pretty good with the Bombard. Soul Steel. Outcast. Yeah. Scatter Gunner. Now, here's some tough choices. We have... We have more decay or more energy. We have the same. We have eight and eight. We have a lot of grave locks. If I can, if I can somehow get grave lock elder, that'd be awesome. Scatter gunner. I do have things I could use for bombard, but then I have the decay that I can get up in necro with. I think I have to take the dust runner over the pest simulator. Even though they're both able to use with bombard, the one drop with bombard, but bombard is really cool. Um, another gray block. Scavenger Contractor, Bloodline Taint. I'll take the Bloodline Taint because stuff like Spark will work well if I can get it. Um, Thumb Soldier, if you can see it burn soon, that'd be really cool. Here, I think I'll take the Copper Auto. The Iron by Alert Raider. I will go with the Iron Bile. It's a nice rare we could pick up as well. Now, Puppet Soldier in case I can find like a burn or something. Well, there's a Ogre right there. That's pretty big. I'll take the Plating. I think I'll take the Destroyer. I think there's a burn too. I think we're definitely in energy more now. Yeah, definitely. Do have a lot of nice decay though. If I take this Eclipse, I can go Eclipse Necro again. But I think an Iron Ogre is just so much better, so I'll take the Iron Ogre. And then a burn over the Charge Coil. Um better even though I'm probably not going to use it mortar I really want to like a machine divinator or machine chant or something that'd be nice I have a lot of structures here minor curse return to nature but I'm not decay growth god hand another raider wow I have no real big attack buffs so I guess piercing projectile. Because I am in a lot of range energy. I guess copper auto. I'll take the spark over the raider because I think I have a lot of little little raiders. Spark. Another spark is nice. Shambler. Shit. Shambler. Spark or Dust Runner? Eat nine energy creatures. But sparks are really nice. Um, I do already have a bunch of one drops, so I'm not gonna take the Dust Runner. I'll take the Spark. Burn is cool. Here I'll take the Ripper. The bridge of the Animalor. Take the Animalor. In case I can get like a scavenger construct in the next couple seconds, because rigs is generally as bad. Burn. Now I can eclipse for the Necro get in, and I think a blind rage is pretty nice for this format. Okay, I think it's a decent deck. Let's go with our energy first. I think that's our main faction. How much range do we have? Two burns is nice. Two charge coils. Um, I know I could just click the add all, but I want to see what I have to work with more. We definitely want these all arranged guys. So wow, we just jump up to seven. Hmm. 
the ranged creatures are just everything except for the Gravelox and the Ogre. Which makes not that much. Only a Gun Auto, a Dust Runner, and a Scatter Gunner. Destroyer works too, but I think Bombard's good still. Let's see what we have with Decay. You know, I think I'm gonna go like four and four, but then have a random outlying Iron Ogre in case I need to go to that. Bloodline Taint, Brain Lice, two Curse Mongers, and Eclipse. You can come. Oh, Burn Puppet, Soul Steel, a couple Rippers. Don't need three shamblers, do I? No. I don't know what to change here. So I really need the piercing projectile. Yeah, I'll keep it. Do I need all these raiders? I don't have any attack buffs. I don't think I need all these raiders. Or the copper auto. Ah, this is tough. Maybe I should put in probably the Mire Curse is nice. I do like the Mire Curse. Let's take out the plating. And now let's go ahead and take out the 14 creatures, one of them is an Iron Ogre. A lot of structures though, and lots of removal. Hmm. Piercing projectile, what can it be even used on? Dust Runner, um, Scatter Gunner, and Gun Automaton, and both my Curse Mongers. So that's staying in, so is Bombard. I do have a lot of removal in here. I probably don't need the Mire, but Mire Curse is actually really cool. Especially with the Curse Monger. Okay, goodbye. We have too many one drops. Let's get rid of the Raiders. I think that's what I'm gonna do. 12 creatures, five structures, not much, but not terrible. I think we'll go with this. So we have Eclipse Necros. That's cool. And let's see if somebody gets in a match with us nice and fast. Maybe we'll get this guy, maybe we'll get matched with him. Let's see. It, judgment, even though there's no visible rating, there's a secret rating that it uses. So for too far off, let's see. He only has 11 judgment wins. I have 39. I don't know if we're gonna get matched. It might take a while. And. Spamming everybody to queue for judgment. Okay. So now I will wait and try to burn them puppets and then eclipse Necro. I doubt. Sorry, that was an email. I doubt I'm really gonna get to the seven energy to get the iron ogre out, but it's in there just in case I end up being at like five or six and then I get it, I draw it. Sacking up to it would probably be a good idea because if that thing's out on the on the field, if there's no direct removal, it's not gonna leave with that armor one. It's gonna be awesome, the seven relentless attack. Come on, somebody. Somebody. Sorry, but the reason the past, I don't know, 10 videos or something, probably more, that I don't really skip my queue times is because 
I haven't been actually editing at all. I've just been uploading raw files from the recordings. It saves a lot of time on my end, and it maybe accounts for some quality loss as there would be no intros, outros, cuts, and all that stuff. But, um,. It allows me to be able to easily pump out these videos every single day, which I haven't done a good job of the daily videos. I could probably still do it daily if I uh, put more effort into it and actually edited them, but it would like triple the time needed to do so. All right, good. We f all right. Hopefully that wasn't too long of a waiting time. Apple Monkey Man, good luck. We go second. I think you're Apple Monkey Man. I don't know your, your name because you're not typing. Oh, there you are. Just saw Pole Monkey Man. Assumed it would be Apple. Alright, so we go second, but we have a nice one drop, and then we have a three drop. Oh, he's energy as well. And we have some nice removal in our hand. Now, now here's the question. Well, we're sec definitely second with Iron Ogre for energy. We're, we're going to take way too long to play that guy. Do we play the Dust Runner? He could just move and kill it. Hmm. I'm going to play it. You know, there's an off chance I top take a spark right now. Maybe he's not the smartest player and he doesn't move down to initiate an attack with me. Let's see. Up he moves down and doesn't do anything else as bad. And I get a tribes in. Darn. Looks like our plan backfires. <laughs> well, at least we made him move down. Save one damage on an idol. Alright, and he gets a charge coil out. Man, I wish I had an incendiary. I think there was one in the draft, but I didn't take it. Probably took some kind of decay scroll. Now, blind rage is good, so I'll check the bombard here, actually. I'm gonna get my own charge coil out. Maybe next turn I'll burn his charge coil, I don't know. Okay, second resources is gonna play a four drop now. Or another charge coil, man. If I had that in areas, it'd be nice. Okay. And now I will Sacrifice for resources, and I'm going to burn this charge coil, and I'm spark, which is cool. Hit this. Yeah, now I can spark it. I can spark this guy as well, but I think this is a higher uh, priority target. The minus one attack on the charge coil still is kind of weird. Machine Chan, that's annoying now. He has more energy. And it kills my thing. Now I think I'm going to... Should I go into decay now? It's a tough choice. No, I think I'm gonna go for the spark scatter gunner. Alright, so now probably have a he here's a little lag right now he hasn't drawn his card yet there he goes he has one more resource than me that was because of the machine champ but we're pretty even in this game okay he's moving down so top decking another spark would be awesome and ether pump is up there and he's not in a place i could blind reach him sack the eclipse and I'm going to move up and put a charge coil there. The reason I don't put outcast is because then he could just kill the outcast. Okay. It'd be nice to start going to decay soon. Okay. Gun auto. And that'll be it. Copper Auto, Outcast. Both. I want to keep the Blind Rage because it's a very strong card in Judgment. A lot of times you bunch up without expecting 
something to kill you. I think I'll sacrifice the outcast here because I want to play the copper auto up here. So now potentially I'll be able to hit this thing. Hopefully this charge girl hits that. And then I'll play a destroyer right here as well. So that ether pump will get hurt out of the way. All right, wrong guy. You hit you, the charge girl. Hit the wrong guy. Come on. Okay. I am probably gonna sack the curse monitor for cards next turn. No, don't play the whole. All right, plus face. I thought it was like corner mages or something. And machine chant. No. Okay. So this thing is taken out. And I'll sack the curse monger for cards. We don't have that eclipse anywhere. We don't have that many creatures in this deck, so an eclipse necro might not be the best. I'll play a copper auto. Okay, hopefully that destroyer gets a lot of a lot of work in for us. Is it a not a great spot on the board, clogging up a nice central location, but that means he is attacking a big location. Now right, good, he has nothing to do. And I could start going for decay. But I'm probably being an idiot by not and I get nothing. Okay, I will just put damage on middle idol, I guess. All right. So I maybe now I'll start going for decay because whatever he puts down, I will be able to spark if need be, like that. And a siege cracker. I do a mire curse. Okay, it's time to go into decay. I'm going to sacrifice the Mire Curse. And then I'm going to spark you and put a gun on him. It's on there. Alright, he's at 7 energy now because of the two machine chants. So I hope he doesn't have anything big like Iron Ogres because I don't have any valve dispersals for those. Well, he is about dispersal. Uh, I've been holding on to that blind range, but maybe it's time to let go because I have two nice decay removal things in my hand, so I'm gonna let it go now. And he can hit an idol if he wants, or he could damage one of my two structures. The reason you hit at the idol is because the sea tracker deals five damage extra to idols, so do six damage to my idol. And sex for order, probably gonna see like an order creature maybe. Awaking stones. Okay, too bad I don't have a tick bomb, but that will come down soon enough, I hope. Uh, I don't think piercing can go through waking stones. These waking stones will reduce all damage to one, which means they would just do one damage and none to the things behind. So I won't use the piercing Dr. I will stack for the decay, and I'll get this guy brain lysed. So he will slowly die. A painful, poisonous death. That must suck. Of all the things to die for, getting lice in your brain. Look at that. It's like lice in your hair but like in the scalp that's some scary stuff okay hmm all right burn won't destroy the waking stones burn won't destroy anything but i like the soul seal a lot i'll have to sack the soul seal though because burn's just too good and i can't play anything sadly and now i'm gonna keep you there because i'd rather not lose an idol I'd rather I'm a different idol. So, you know, what? actually, I'm gonna move up. If he really wants to destroy that, all it's fine. But I want to be able to destroy the clock library next turn. Oh, nice! Actually, hit something. 
cool, cool. So now I'll be able to burn that. But I was really thinking I'm going to move up, hit that thing for two damage, and then burn that when I can. So next turn I could sacrifice maybe the Balante, maybe something else for Decay and play the Curse Monger. He's getting more resources, and now what's he going to do with that Siege Cracker? What's he going to... Just finish off the idol. Okay. Ooh, Puppet Soldier Burn. We're holding on to that. Um, This is a tough choice. Do I go up here and then... Three damage and two damage is not going to do anything because I want to save the Puppet Soldier and Burn to be used together. I could use the Puppet Soldier Burn now. But I feel like he's going to do... Uh, I'm going to go for the Curse Monger this turn. And just call it there. Okay, so let's see what he lines up behind that Waking Stone with it. He's got to line up something with it. <laughs> Come on. And this game, I think, is going to be a long time. I don't understand. I don't see how I'm going to be able to. Okay, he speeds. So th that's fine. That actually makes me feel a little bit better now because I wasn't able to uh, destroy it. Like, even if I put two damage on it. Or no, I did, I did put two damage on it. Alright, whatever. <laughs> so, come on. Put, like, a uh, Iron Ogre back there. Or that, that works, too. And a gun on it. Okay. And a Copper Auto. Oof. Now... Sack the Necker again for cards. Huh. Soul Steel. I don't think I'm going to have Puppet Soldier burn just yet. I'm going to Soul Steal you. And now I'm going to. Move you back. He could have like a Thunder Surge or something. Which would really throw a pain in my neck. And I'll go like that. So he can uh, deal damage to my Dust Runner. Or not. Yay. Sharpshooter Mortar right there. Hit the Waking Stones once, hit him. Okay, so now put your Iron Ogre right there, and I'll pop a burn. Probably getting a bit too greedy with the Puppet Burn. Puppet Burn is awesome already for just destroying anything. These are getting the card draw with the burn. Kabonk. Fine. Be that way. Man, if he had, a, he had an Iron Ogre, that would actually be really scary because he had a speed on his... He used speed on his clock library. Yes, okay. Now I'll Puppet Soldier for it. So he could speed Ogre, if he has an Ogre. <laughs> but, maybe he doesn't have an Ogre. Okay, Copper Auto is out. Ooh, two burns, that's nice. So now, first I'm going to curse you, I don't know why. Keep you there, and now I'm going to just Puppet Soldier Burn. And I'll keep you guys separate just in case he does a thunder surge. Nice. Solid play right there. Yeah, this is going to be a long video of judgment, isn't it? I took like a little longer than usual in the draft, like almost 15 minutes, I think. And the game is not very aggressive. Biggest play of the game right there, that puppet soldier burn. Around 17. He's already has an idol destroyed. That's just because of his seed tracker. My only big idol hitting thing is probably the Iron Ogre. And then I have a Necker Gun if, if I get there. But I think this deck will do strong enough sustaining board control. Okay. EVDs my mortar. Probably a good choice considering it was wrecking a lot of havoc. Uh, I can't. I could curse you and burn you. That could be cool. 
Let me sack the blind rage. And I get an eclipse. And I'm just gonna spark. I'll spark. Green did four because he had cursed you, that's why I killed it. That's why I sparked. And then I'll move you back. I'll have you guys damage bottom idol. Put a charge coil there. I'll move you up. Looks good. So the next turn I'll be able to burn anything with five health or less. Well, you technically can burn anything, but you wouldn't get the card draw, but it's really worth it for the card draw. That's what makes it so good. So I'll probably curse the skirmisher with the curse monitor, and then burn it in all likelihood. Unless he's not going to protect it with anything, then I'll just probably kill it. Okay. And he's going for the charge coil with blessing of haste. Fine. Kind of annoying because the charge coil would have been able to take out those proximity charges pretty well. But. Alright. So now. I do have ranged creatures here that could take these out. Hmm. Sack the copper auto for. And no, I'm actually gonna sack the egg. Uh, my cursor cards. He's not really separating. Alright, Ogre will sack for that soon. I'll curse you. And now I'll move you down so you die. And then I'll just normally burn you. And then I'll be able to move you there you there and copper copper right in front looks good and we have a bloodline taint to play with whenever we want we have an eclipse in case we want necrogeddon which would be a good thing to do now that we have a lot of little creatures on the board okay kills the dust runner annoying um we have a lot of decay anyway so I think we sacrifice the, the, the eclipse right now Sorry about that. Um, looks good. He has lots of resources from that machine champ, but his cards are very low. Even though he got that clock library off before, he's been ramping when I think he should be going for cards. And we have two curse markers out, which is awesome. Okay. I could Iron Ogre next turn, or I could bombard and destroy the. Destroy this. The charge coil. Interesting. Very interesting. I think I'll sack the Bloodline Tame for cards, because I think I'll just bombard this turn so I can destroy this charge coil. And I'm destroying him, anyways. Um. Yeah. So I guess I'll sack the bloodline taint. And I could curse before I bombard, but everything's dying anyway, so it wouldn't matter. So I'll just bombard. And now I'll move you up. Move you down. You up. I will go ahead and put a tribes in right in front and an outcast top okay looks good and then maybe he'll just surrender next turn when he sees me play an iron ogre man that destroyer's been sitting there the whole, the whole time hasn't killed anything since that ether pump but 
it's been holding a lot of board control because he can't really put many things there. Oh, there it goes. Just when I'm talking about it. Lived a long, important, strong life. Now, piercing projectile, I think, is going to be nice to put in a curse monger soon. Ah, oh, I didn't get to play that monger before he did this, so GGWP. So, there's one with the win. I'll try to win the other four, and I guess that's it. Uh, pretty long video today, sorry about that. I'll continue to play this run. Keep on scrolling, everybody. Thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you like my content. And I'll keep on going with these daily videos and get hyped for Rebellion, everybody. See you all next time.